morning, Picopson. My name is Colleen. And my name is Cooper. Here are the morning announcements. Today is Monday, April 8th, letter day B. Today's weather is a mix of clouds and sunshine in the high 60s. Today's lunch, cheese ravioli, crispy chicken wrap, muffin and yogurt pack, hummus flatbread box, side salad, apple slices, and steamed broccoli. Tomorrow's lunch, popcorn chicken bowl, turkey hoagie uncrustable kit, chicken Caesar salad, pineapple cup, baby carrots, and steamed corn. Today's announcements. April's donation items are items we have donated in the past, such as rice, dried beans, pasta, pasta sauce, cans of fruit, soup, and cereal. There is no school for students on Wednesday. And now, a very important announcement from Dr. Beaver regarding the solar eclipse today. Well, good morning, Pocopson. Happy Monday. Welcome back. We have an exciting day ahead of us, and I'm excited to be here to talk about the picture behind me. I'd like everyone to take a real careful look at the picture on the screen for a moment. Okay, these children in this picture are all doing the same thing. They are viewing a solar eclipse that happened in the past. I think this is 2017. They're watching a solar eclipse, and we get a chance to do that today as well. It's a very exciting day. I know you've been talking to your teachers about it, and I'm hoping that you've been talking to your parents about it, and I want you to think about the picture behind me. Everyone is carefully wearing safety protective glasses to watch the eclipse. And you might even notice that some people, as they have their glasses on their face, are actually even holding them when they look up. They actually hold onto the glasses just makes a little bit of a tighter fit when they're looking right at the eclipse event. I'm here to talk to you about these glasses. So today, your teachers are gonna be handing you a pair of safety glasses, and they're really neat and they're yours to keep. Some of our kindergarten friends, as you go home at lunchtime today, if you're going home at lunchtime, they're gonna let you take these home with you. So pay attention, because when you're home, you're gonna to wonder how to use these too. So teachers, once we get outside to the blacktop and we're in our positions to view the eclipse this afternoon, we're gonna put our glasses on just like this. We're gonna make sure that they're resting on our face just right. And some people might even wanna hold on to them just a little bit more if that makes you more comfortable. And I'm here to tell you guys, it's really important that we don't take them off during the event. Even though it is really hard to see, you can't see much, you'll just be able to see what we're looking at up in the sky, okay? And that's the whole point. We'll be in that position for maybe 10 minutes or so. So super important today that you absolutely wear these the way you need to wear them, and we listen to the adults about when we can take them off so that we can walk back and forth, get situated, and then obviously get up and walk to buses and to the car line. So today's exciting. It doesn't happen very often. The next one's gonna be decades away. Um, so let's take advantage of a great afternoon. And we're lucky for great weather and um, have fun today at the solar eclipse and make sure that we wear these properly. Have fun. Happy birthday, April 8th, 2024, to Ruhan and Shay. Please go down to the office for your birthday pencil. It's trivia time. time! Today's trivia question, when was the last total solar eclipse? Please take the next 10 seconds to answer the trivia and get ready for the pledge. stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 